The Volksmarine, or the People's Navy, was the naval force of the German Democratic Republic from 1956 to 1990. The Volksmarine was one of the service branches of the National People's Army, or National Volksarmee, and primarily performed a coastal service defence role along the GDR's Baltic Sea coastline and territorial waters. Today, like the previous videos, I will be talking you through the rank structure of the Volksmarine, starting from the highest rank and working our way down to the lowest rank. <laughs> Firstly, we have the rank of Fluten Admiral or Fleet Admiral, which was the highest official rank within the Volksmarine, though it was never actually held by an individual, much like the rank of Marshal der Deutsche Demokratische Republik. The rank was introduced on the 25th of March 1982. Now you may be asking yourself at this point, History 101, why would they create a rank but never use it? What is the point? What, why would they do this? Well, first off, stop interrupting me because it is quite rude. And also, much of the answer for you is simply because it was based off the Soviet system. And also, an admiral that was appointed Minister of National Defence would gain this rank. Though, in fact, Admiral Theodore Hoffman became the Minister of National Defence on the 16th of November 1989, but never actually received this rank. Next, we have the rank of Admiral. Now, the Admiral was the highest rank that was actually used within the history of the Volksmarine. This rank would often be in charge of a group of ships or a fleet, and if not either of these, they would certainly hold an important position in the navy on the shore. Famous people from the GER to hold this rank include Theodor Hoffmann, Wilhelm M, and Waldemann Werner. Next is the rank of Vice Admiral, or Vice Admiral, which is the third highest rank in the Volksmarine. It was comparable to a NATO rank code of OF7 or a two star officer. Its role was to also command a group of ships or hold an important onshore position. What distinguishes the Admiral ranks is the size of the force that they command. This rank was only ever held by 7 to 10 people in its years active within the Volksmarine. Lastly, we have the ranks of Counter Admiral or Counter Admiral. It was the lowest rank of flag officer in the East German Navy. It was comparable to a NATO rank code of OF6, also known as a one star naval officer. The rank also commanded the smaller naval force and the previous Admiral ranks. It was only ever held by around 26 people, famous people including Hans Joachim Dönitz and Friedrich Echlip. The highest senior line officer rank was Kapitän Zose, or Captain at Sea. It was comparable to a NATO rank code of OF5, or the naval equivalent of an army colonel. This rank was often placed in charge of a ship or a submarine, but this was not always the case. In addition to ship work, captains can be stationed on bases to organise training, teach in service academies, or perform legal and medical tasks. Next is the rank of Fregatten Kapitan, or Commander. It is the middle rank of the staff's officer ranks, with a neutral rank code of OF4. The rank itself could often serve as the captain of a smaller naval vessel, such as a frigate, destroyer, or a submarine. Lastly is the rank of Corvetten Kapitan, or Lieutenant Commander. The lowest rank of the staff officer ranks with a NATO rank code of OF3, or comparable to a major. This rank often serves as the second in command of a naval ship or serves as a naval department officer. Firstly, the rank of Captain Lieutenant or Captain Lieutenant was the highest junior officer rank in the Volksmarine. The rank had a NATO rank code of OF2 and was comparable to a naval lieutenant. This rank often held a similar position to that of the Corvette and Captain. Next, the naval lieutenant ranks, the highest of them being the Oberleutnant Suze with a native rank code of OF1A, next being Leutnant Suze with a code of OF1B, and lastly is the rank of Unterleutnant with a code of OF1C. Now for the ranks of the Officer Schuler, or Officer Cadet pretty much. I couldn't find really anything on these set of ranks, but it does go from 1st year Officer Cadet up to the 5th year Officer Cadet. Firstly, we have the rank of Stabs of Fanrich, or Staff Senior Warrant Officer, which was the highest rank of the Fanrich group of ranks in the Navy, and was instated into the Navy from 1979 to 1990. Next, we have the other Warrant Officer ranks, such as the Stabs Fanrich, Staff Warrant Officer, Ober Fanrich, Senior Warrant Officer, Fanrich or Warrant Officer, and lastly, Fanrich Schule, or Warrant Officer Cadet. The Fanrich Corps was supposed to provide highly specialised long service members below officer level and above NCO level to close the skills gap in technical careers. Now we have the Meister ranks. The highest rank being the Stabsobermeister or Staff Senior Master, the Obermeister or the Senior Master, and then the Meister or the Master. That's really all that I could find out about these ranks. 
Next, we have the Mart ranks, which contain the Obermart and Mart. I do apologise for this again, but I could find almost no information about these ranks, but I do know that they were comparable to both the Staff Sergeant and Sergeant of the Army. Lastly, we have the ranks of Stab Matros, or Staff Matros. It is comparable to the rank of Corporal. The rank of Ober Matros was comparable to a senior sailor or a lance corporal, and lastly, the rank of Matros, which was the lowest rank in the Volksmarine. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe if you did actually enjoy that and be great. Comment down below if you want to see another videos like this. I did actually get a new mic for this video, so hopefully it sounds a bit better. Please comment down below what you think of it. Just, just want your honest opinion and have a good one.